that would not necessarily uh, uh, induce any uh, increase as far as the interest rates are concerned. Therefore, for the time being, my sense is that the interest rates would continue stable. Maybe as we move forward towards the end of the current fiscal, uh, depending on the macroeconomic conditions prevailing, perhaps a call needs to be taken regarding the interest rates. Maybe it may slightly inch up uh, thereafter. Did I get you right? Are you saying that uh, the Reserve Bank should only go with a 25 basis point CRR hike? And if that happens, you are not expecting banks to make money more expensive. You expect that they will not uh, raise rates uh, because of a 25 basis point CRR hike. Is that what how I should understand you? Yeah, maybe the CRR hike of about 25 basis points, if it comes up, could be absorbed by the banking system. Maybe a little bit of a, a readjustment of realignment of interest rates, which are given sub PLR. But then on the whole, I wouldn't think that uh, there is uh, likely to be any increase per se as far as the PLRs are concerned. But will not that, uh, you know, completely fail to serve the purpose? The, uh, the point that uh, the other guests are making is that there is an incipient tendency of uh, inflation in the economy. Not serious, but certainly people trying to push up prices where there is a chance. And as it is, the WPI is standing well above 7% and looks quite set to, to get much worse by the time we reach March. So uh, if that has to be meaningfully tackled, should not the RBI have to pull up policy rates and maybe increase the CRR by even more than 25 basis points, Mr. Malia? Now, my sense at this point in time is that uh, perhaps it would be too early to take a call on that. Yes, we have seen the credit pickup momentum, but then it is too early to come to a judgment that the credit pickup has really happened. Maybe I think we need to wait for some more time before the revival as per the entire uh, industrial segment as also uh, maybe the revival of the credit pickup momentum is concerned. I think we need to wait for some time. That is why I said maybe stable interest rates at this point in time slightly inching up as we move towards the end of the current fiscal. But Chetan, one final question to you. How much will interest rate hikes impact growth? But before that, you told me about what you're expecting in January. What are you expecting the Reserve Bank to do by April? How much of the rates hikes may be passed on by the banks in the form of costlier lending rates? And will it impact growth? What are your growth forecasts? Uh, we are expecting totally 150 base, basis points policy rate hike in 2010. And uh, in my view, the banks will start hiking lending rates uh, somewhere in April, May, because initially uh, there will be enough liquidity in the banking system. As you know, banks are probably parking roughly about uh, at least 30 to $40 billion uh, in low-yielding assets like mutual funds or uh, reverse reports. So they would like to first clear that off uh, before they start hiking lending rates. So they are going to be lagging. But uh, the RBI will need to move now uh, and, and just compare this with 2004 cycle when reverse report roughed at four and a half. Right now we are at 3.25, full 125 bips below the previous uh, cycle low, whereas growth is actually bounced back much more sharply than what we had seen in terms of recovery in the 04 cycle. So uh, I think the RBI will have to hike. And this has to be compared back again in terms of recovery in 04, 05, that RBI kept hiking. Uh, growth was absolutely fine, and I think that's the same kind of uh, outlook we would have this time as well. Unless you're going to see a double dip, which was a very valid question from you earlier, whether the U.S. is going to uh, go through some pain which has some cascading effect on our growth outlook. But as I mentioned, the starting point of rates are so low that some normalization is inevitable, and that will not hurt our domestic demand growth. But Mrs. Ajay, let me come to you. Uh, like I was uh, asking Chetan, your industry and uh, Indian industry in general has benefited by a lot of munificence uh, from the government and in fact from governments all over the world. If these are withdrawn, do you think uh, uh, growth will still be sustainable and will it also be able to take the load of slightly costlier money? I think it's a good question. We really need to get uh, both the fiscal policy and the monetary policy to be orchestrated for a common combined uh, effect. Uh, clearly, if there is uh, action on both front to withdraw, uh, i.e. that the monetary uh, policy also looks for uh, northward uh, revision, uh, and also if uh, fiscal policy is uh, driving towards uh, taking away the uh, excess benefit and pushing up the excess uh, rate, certainly it will have an impact not merely in terms of the of the cost and the physical availability of cash and so on but on the sentiment which i think is even more important so uh, let me therefore uh, uh, make my point on this 
uh, it has to be only on uh, the suction of liquidity. Uh, I didn't make uh, a point that, the, that there should also be an in increase in interest rate. I was only saying that uh, inflation is certainly there. There is uh, clearly incipient uh, inflation, uh, opportunistic pricing, uh, growth momentum is pretty much there, liquidity is, uh, there is a tremendous overhang, and therefore uh, RBA would be perfectly justified in sucking out, and uh, perhaps CRR uh, alone may not do the job, because uh, we are talking about uh, uh, more than a uh, couple of billion dollars every month in terms of inflow, and a 0.25% is not going to neutralize beyond just a month for inflow. And uh, therefore, we might have to do something both on the CRR and SLR. But as regards the interest rate, uh, if the interest rate hike were to be signaled by a very marginal rate, it must happen only on the basis that the fiscal stimulus is not simultaneously also uh, withdrawn. So I think there is a need for orchestration, uh, one or the other. Okay. Well, that may be a very difficult choice to make since uh, the fiscal uh, situation also looks uh, a bit dire to be able to postpone decisions. But we'll have to wait and see. Uh, Mr. Malia, one last question to you. Do you think NPLs could become an issue? And would that uh, worry the RBI? Already we have seen some banks, uh, uh, big banks, uh, reporting slightly higher uh, NPLs. Uh, and uh, if there is an interest rate hike in such a situation, do you think bank books could get a bit stressed in the next six months? No, no, to my sense, in my sense, you see, go back uh, about nine months mm. when the whole global crisis started unwinding. At that point in time, the real concern was the substantial increase in the NPLs. Okay. Now, in the context of what has happened recently, I don't think we have seen uh, such a, uh, a large increase as far as the NPLs are concerned. Okay. It has been well within the overall uh, uh, expectations. Mr. Sishchai, Mr. Malia, Chetan, thank you very much for joining us. Well, as you can see, it's a slightly divided house. The industrialist and the banker believe that uh, there is scope for a little more forbearance on the part of uh, either the fiscal or the monetary authorities. Uh, they believe that uh, if the fiscal stimulus is withdrawn simultaneously as money gets tighter and costlier, there can be some danger to growth. But the economist's voice is equally important. Uh, uh, the voice that says that uh, if growth has come back to its trend pace of 7.5% and if inflation is also at 7.5% and throughout 2010 even with the base is likely to remain well above 5% then what is the justification for interest rate signals, policy rate signals to remain at a historic low of 3 and a quarter? The Reserve Bank has to start the process of coming back to normal rates. Nobody is talking of tighter rates just yet or rates that will slow the economy, but simply bringing back rates uh, to their normal rates of perhaps 4.5%, and then one can pause. I think that would be perhaps a better strategy for the Reserve Bank to start the process now since growth and inflation are uh, at or above their trend rates, and then pause and ponder after April or perhaps uh, in September. That may well be the Reserve Bank strategy, but we will have to wait and see. Next week, around this time, the uh, credit policy will be with us and we will have an equally power-packed panel to debrief that policy and to see where it takes the economy from there. Until then, thanks for watching Indianomics. See you next week.